everyone, I'm Meera Rajput Kapoor and I'm super excited to have with me Bobby Brown at Vogue India's Beauty Festival 2020. Welcome Bobby. So nice to meet you Meera. Um, I'm so happy to be here. I love everything about your beauty, your culture and I'm really proud that you asked me to do this. Thanks Bobby, it's a privilege for me and I'm so excited that I get to do this with you. I've been following you ever since I was a child and I think your beauty philosophy is something that resonates with me entirely. So I think I'm, I'm really, really honored. Oh, I, I, I am so glad. I'm, I'm really looking forward to teaching you and everyone else a few simple tricks because what, I, what I've learned over the years, makeup is not complicated, especially if you understand the basics and have the colors that are right for your skin. That's the main thing. So I wish that we were there in person and I could actually touch you and demonstrate my makeup techniques. But today I'm going to guide you through, um, how, you know, how to do the simple makeup. That's awesome. I, I'm really excited because I, I love how, you know, you like to do makeup to make, make us look like ourselves, you know, um, to let skin look like skin and to let, you know, the natural colors of our face do the talking so let's get started tell me how how can we uh, what's the best way to prep uh, skin okay. for me the, the first thing is I'm sure your your skin is clean right you have nothing on I have nothing on except for a okay. lip balm so oh, you have a moisturizer on I do I, I've already put okay. my moisturizer and, and a lip balm Okay, so moisturizer is so important. I, I know it's very hot often in India and very humid, so you've got to make sure the moisturizer isn't too greasy, but you can almost tell when you feel the skin if it's, if it's dry or if it's greasy. So will you touch your skin and tell me if you think it's hydrated enough? Yeah, I think I have a cream that really works for me and I, I just like to use a couple of things. So this one works for me. I feel it's okay. ready. All right, it looks great. So then the first thing is we're gonna choose a foundation that matches your skin. I don't know what you have there. I haven't seen your things. So show me what you have in the foundation world. So Bobby, I actually don't use foundation. It Yay, I love that. What do you use? I, I use something called uh, Face Fabric by Giorgio Armani. It's, it's like a tinted moisturizer. Okay, yes, I love tinted moisturizers because often they're transparent and you could see through the skin. So I want, to, I want to just make sure the color is the right thing. So this is what I usually use. I, I don't, uh, on a regular basis, I don't use any foundation, but whenever I do, okay. it's this one. Okay, so try, do me a favor, put it on the side of your face, just right here and very gently blend it in and I want to see if it's the right color of your skin. And because because it's zoom, it's very forgiving, so you're going to have to tell me, does it disappear when you put it on the skin? It does. Or do it you does. see it? You can, like, if you see it on my hand, there. Do you know that your hand and your face are two different colors? They are. So it doesn't they matter are. so much about the hand, it really matters about the skin. It does. Okay. For me, this one works yeah. really well. Okay, great. Usually great. I like so, to go like, I always like to go darker if not lighter, if I'm not sure because I, I don't like that, you know, chalky look. Right. Look. Yes, yes. Often, you know, so many Indian women have beautiful yellow undertones that you need to make sure that it's the right color. And you know, some women when they lose some of their color gets a little green. So we're gonna counteract that with a, with a, a pinky bronzer. So I love the way that looks on you because it does not look like makeup, all right? And, and everyone who's watching is probably saying, of course, they picked the most beautiful girl with the most beautiful skin. And uh, yes, yes, that, that is usually like what that. happens. <laughs> so that looks great. Um, all right, next thing, and I also love that it doesn't look too greasy or shiny on you because sometimes when you put a foundation on, it looks shiny. Then you've got to put powder on and that's not good either. I actually don't like powder. I get very scared yeah. of powder because if you ever click pictures or if you're in the wrong light, you know that white? Yes. 
that line that comes here i, I yes. personally don't like it and this one has a bit of a souffle texture you know it's like a whip they okay it's called okay. second skin makeup okay. that's why i like it mm -hmm. yeah that's very good i will have to check it out myself okay so next um i would like to see under the eyes any kind of concealer corrector show me what you have uh this is what i have it's okay it's i don't know why people do this in makeup tutorials yeah exactly because then you could see it <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> um and and the important thing put when you put it under your eyes make sure you go where the darkest area is, which is usually in the recessed areas of the corner. And that really opens up your eyes. Do I put it on top as well? No, as well? you don't put it on top because in order for it to be smooth under the eyes, there's a little bit of moisture in it and it would have your eyeshadow crease. Oh. And I don't like making the eyelid, eyelids too white. Okay. It actually, it actually looks good. It looks, it looks really good. For people with issues there, and a lot of Indian women have very dark under the eyes, sometimes you need like a peachy corrector or a pinky corrector and then the concealer. With the concealer is usually lighter than your foundation, so it's the same tone as your foundation. Okay. Uh, okay. Normally I use the corrector, but I think I've been getting good sleep and I'm rested yeah. well, so. Fortunately, okay. I haven't needed to use the corrector. And then when you apply it, use your finger, instead of wiping it off, make sure you're pressing very gently, which I think you did, That's but right. I just want everyone at home to know that. Yeah, press it in so it doesn't end up on your fingers. So Bobby, Excellent. do you prefer to use your fingers or do you like to use brushes? I gotta tell you, I use my fingers when I do myself. And when I, when I do someone's makeup, I usually use brushes, but then I use my fingers to, you know, to blend it in. And I, I have to be honest, I haven't done makeup since we have been all at home. So I, I've been doing makeup this way and I really miss touching people's faces. I cannot wait to go back into the studio. <laughs> Even I like using my hands. I have like a few brushes, but I like to just use my hands. Yeah, show me what brushes you have because it's important to see the tools. So I have a blush brush. Uh-huh. And normally this is what I use for everything if I'm in a hurry. And uh, I have a brow brush, but I okay. actually like to use this one. This is this, this fully. Okay. Mm -hmm. And well, these are a couple of eye, uh, the eye sure, brushes, yeah. but I just don't know how to do it. I just okay. have one way of doing it, so I never really know what's the difference between all of them. Right. Okay, I will show you. So next thing is, do you have a blush or a bronzer? Like... So, like, this is what, what I like have? to use. Okay, open it up for me. It looks a little dark. Can I see the color? It's like a peachy, peachy... Uh -huh. um, okay. Brown. Yeah. All right, that is pretty. I'm going to have you use that as a bronzer. Okay. So take your biggest brush. Take your biggest brush. This one. Yes. Uh, dip it in and tap or blow the excess off so it doesn't streak. Okay? And then smile, put it on the apple of your cheek like in a circular motion, a little bit in your forehead, nose, chin, and under your neck. This is exactly what I do. I'm so happy that you do the same. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what this does is it just brings color to your face. And I don't know about you, but I feel better instantly when I, yeah, when I do too. something yeah. like this. I think for me, blush yeah. is something that I can't do without. A lot of people have mascara and you know eyeliner, but Blush is the thing for me. Yeah, I, I agree. Do you have another blush with you? Do you have a brighter one? Yes, I do. Because I'd love you to put a brighter one on, on just on the apple. Yeah. So take put that on top, just on the cheek. Even more, even more. Because blush kind of fades away 
Yeah, mine so needs it up. you can really put more of this on. Can you see it? Yeah. My okay, skin great. really needs some blush for some reason. Yeah, mine too. But also, I, I, I think you could even do a brighter blush on top of your bronzer if you know if you had one. Also, do you have any bright lipsticks? Not for your lips. Uh, but you yeah, have Bobby, I, I normally have just like nudes because I, I don't generally use. Yeah, you're my, you're my kind of girl. But sometimes, if you ever had a, like for example, I would never That's wear right. this lipstick. I would never wear that. But I sometimes will use these just on the cheek because it just brightens up. So if you ever have anything that's super bright. Not this time. Yeah, okay. So just remember that, remember the trick because also you could use one of your, um, you know, one of your own lipsticks to get a little bit of a, you know, a little bit more so it's not powdery. So why don't we try that too? Okay. And let's put it on your lips and your cheeks. So we might as well. Yeah, put it on, put whatever you wear on your lips. Let me see how it looks on your cheeks. I'm gonna use my hands because this lipstick has had a tough time with my son. He just put his finger in. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm gonna use my finger. It's a really nice color actually. Yeah, it's beautiful. And a lot of women, that's a beautiful color for your lips because it doesn't lighten your lips. A lot of women think they're getting a nude and then they put it on and it takes all the color away. So that's beautiful. It washes now out. take the same thing on your cheek. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. Don't be afraid. You got to blend it in. Now you got to blend it in. Now you see how you're using one finger? Try to use a couple. Use a couple, because then you get a more, yeah. Because then you make sure it's blended. You are so pretty. You are, you are just ridiculous. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So when you got married, did you have a modern makeup like this or did you go for the full on Indian makeup? You know, uh, when I got married, that was the first time that I had a makeup artist actually do my makeup. Mm. And I remember telling her, please put less. Uh -huh. Do as less as you can. And she insisted that I wear eyelashes. She did a wonderful job because she, she listened to me. Her name was Malika Bhatt. And, and then she said, Meera, I think you should do your eyelashes. I said, no way, I'm not going to wear eyelashes. I think. I probably wore stick-on eyelashes maybe like a year and a half ago for the first time. I, I just, right. I don't like the way it feels or, uh, you know, the way it looks, but it was very low-key for me. I, I just couldn't, you know, have okay. okay, because my, my son is marrying a beautiful Indian girl and I'm, okay. I, I assume I'll be doing the makeup, so I'm trying to experiment with a modern look. I don't I know, hopefully she's not watching she can she'll me. kill me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well you look at me. All right, that looks beautiful. So now we're gonna go to the eyes. Okay. I always start with brows, and you could use either a pencil, a brown shadow, show me what you have, or a little brush on. So I actually like to use powder because I don't like the heavy uh, brow. So I actually right. use, you know, I use like, I use a light brown powder actually. Okay, a light brown, really? I always use a brown, you know, that's the color of my hair. Like this, do you use the, the second one from the top? Do you use that one or is that or too dark? I use this one. You use that one. Yeah, that one's okay. Make sure it's not red. No, it's not. Okay. It's a cool right. brush. So take, yeah, take your brush and I like to use a slanted brush. Yeah, slanted brush, you dip it in the shadow, blow, tap, and then you fill in the brows. You know, brows is something that I always overlooked. And I used to get scared whenever I would fill it in because I would feel like, oh my God, suddenly it's looking really dark. And that's why I started using a lighter brown rather than a dark brown. Well, that works. You know, it depends how heavy-handed you are. I'm, I like using a darker color, and I go and I go lighter with it. 
because I also like to not carry a lot with me and I like to use a brown that I could line my eyes with in addition. Is that fine? Yeah, it's perfect, perfect. So next is your eyes. So when you do your eyes, do you usually wear shadow? I do, and normally I just use one color. Which, Which color? color? Show, Show me. me. I use this kind of a color. Okay, so basic. great. That is great because then you don't have to blend it. Because a lot of times women struggle with shadow. They put it on and then they try to blend it and then it's a mess. So it's always good to find a color you don't have to blend. Oh, so kind of get, a, get, get a little bit of a fluffier brush. Let's see, probably the one all the way to the right. Yeah, because you, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, my right, yeah, <laughs> the other one, the smaller one. Yes, because you don't want it too big or it'll get too much. So start at the lash line and then go three quarters of the way up. Perfect. So see how simple? That's why you know I why? have because, just a few because, things. Yeah, it's so simple because the color is so easy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And, and for anyone watching at home, you can also, after it's perfect, take a little bit more on the outside because some days when we have, a, we need a little more definition or as you know, women get older, sometimes you need more definition on the outside. You can always add more. I call it layering. So instead of blending, think of layering. Okay? okay. All right, now I would like to you to define your lashes. So before you put mascara on, do you line your eyes with a powder or a pencil or a gel? Usually it's a liquid liner, but recently okay. I've gone in uh, I've started using a pencil and I actually use a very interesting color. I, I don't know if you would approve, but it's it's almost like a, a you know, it's called a marsala. You know, it's... So it's a little purple. Wine, it's like wine color? Almost, more brown, like right. a dark, deep yeah. brown. Okay, yeah, line your eyes. Show me um, how you line your eyes. I like to start at the outside. Look down and follow the follow it all the way in. Some people start on the inside. I start at the outside. Yeah, I, I yes, the I start at the outside because when your hand gets towards the center, it should be lighter. I actually start in the middle. Okay. But when you are finished, make sure it's all the way. Gorgeous. See how that really makes your eyes pop? I love that color. Who makes that one? This is by an Indian company called Color Bar. I found it and I'm in love with it and I have like five of them with me all the time. Oh, Color Bar, okay, very nice. You know, Indian companies are actually doing some really good stuff. That's what I'm really looking into these days. Oh, they kind of awesome. understand the skin tone and you know, they get the weather and it's nice to kind of support our Indian companies. Exactly. Well, my favorite brush is from an Indian makeup artist. I don't know. She lives in the UK. Her name is Ruby Hammer. Have you seen this brush? No, no, I haven't. It's got three parts to it. It's great for us guys on the go. It's got, you could use this for lip or liner. This is for shadow. And this is for brow. And it's a, it's a that magnet. That is so cool. I love that. It's right? It's so, so easy. easy. It's so cool. Yeah. Okay, so did you do both eyes or just one? I did both. Okay, great. Now your mascara. I I hope you have black. I do. I do. Good, yeah. I don't even know why anyone makes brown. So black mascara always only from underneath going up. And I like to start at the outside, go in, get the little baby lashes.
Now, I usually do the tops first and let it dry because a lot of women then will open their eyes and make a mess, but you probably... I actually like this uh, particular brush. It doesn't clump up the mascara. It's... Mm -hmm. So, what I like to do is I like to put it on top and then whatever's left over, I put it at the bottom because I like to have less perfect. at the bottom. That's perfect. And how many coats do you normally do? One. No, I, you know what, as natural makeup as I wear, I do three coats of mascara. Cause I find the mascara helps me really add definition. And then what else I do is as the mascara is drying, I take my finger and I gently curl and hold the lashes. And I, that's how I curl the eyes instead of using an eyelash curler. So yeah, just take it from underneath and gently bend them, like literally bend them up you know, count to five or 10 and it will stay. And, and sometimes in the afternoon, I'll put an extra coat of mascara on and I'll do that also and it really helps wake up my eyes. It's actually a great hack. Yeah. Cause I'm not, I'm not good with the eyelash curler. I think it's I'm very know, hard to do. Yeah. So that is really pretty. And I would consider your makeup right now, like a basic everyday makeup. You know, there's a few things you could do to kind of bring it up a bit. Do you have anything with gloss, with shimmer, with shine? I do. I have this one. Okay. <laughs> Pretty. So put that on, you know, just on the bottom of your lip. You know, blot them together. And then since I don't like very gooey lip gloss, I always take it and put it on the cheek. And make sure, make sure, because a lot of times people make mistakes because their fingers might have brown shadow on it. So, so yeah, before, I, I you know, do just it with my yeah, just hand. Yeah, I, I, I've done that many times, get a little brown on my cheeks. So make sure it's just pink. This is super simple. Now, yeah, it's very simple. And if you were going out in the evening, I know you're not a bright lipstick person, either am I, but you could take this look and certainly pop it up with a bright lip or you could take some more shimmery or a little bit of, you know, like play with texture and just kind of, you know, pump, pump it up a bit. Like, do you have anything with like literally eyeshadow with shine in it? Like a shimmery, like a shimmery topaz would be so pretty. So do you like to use a uh, highlighter? I do, especially in the evening. You know, I find when the light hits you. Okay, so that's your pick. Yeah, no, I don't see any highlighters there. Like, like shimmery, shimmery, This shimmery. one is very right. shimmery. Which one? This one. You can't okay. see it, but it is very shimmery. Okay, then, then you know what, just add a little bit of shimmer, just so it kind of does something a little bit more. I think this one is a bit dark. Maybe a lighter one. Oh, I was oh I was saying put it on your eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Put the no. Put that darker shimmer on your eyes. That one is funny. Yeah, this I can. Yeah. Do. That I don't mind at all. Okay. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yes, I, I, I was in India about a year ago, year and a half ago. I came and taught makeup for the first ever Indian makeup show. And I taught the makeup that you are wearing right now. And I, I was hoping people weren't disappointed because, you know, I, I see all this so strong Indian makeup and I don't really do that. So I'm, I'm just really proud that you have that natural, beautiful face. Thanks, Bobby. I, I actually feel that you know, there, there are two schools of thought, you know, one likes to do the full, you know, full face, the whole haul kind of makeup. Yeah. yeah. And there's probably, you know, people, people like that and there's an appetite for that. But personally, I, I like, for me, less is more, you know, right, I like, right. I like to do less on my face and I like to use lesser stuff. 
like I like to use the way you've taught me how to just use you know lipstick as blush and eyeshadow as highlighter. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I've all, I've always been like that. And then then for nighttime, if you have you do you have a black inky liner? Because that's the one thing that I think you could do is to make a thicker black line on top for evening. I have a liquid one. I have a really nice liquid like Yeah, that. right. I mean, if you feel like putting it on, that could be gorgeous. And just make it a little thicker than your daytime one. Gorgeous. It better not smudge. Yeah, just look down till it dries. Do you like liquid liner or do you prefer gel? I pr well, liquid or gel are very similar. Yeah, I like both. And I love to put it over a pencil or over a shadow. It just is a little more forgiving. So I, 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 think, I think I've been using this one forever. I kind yeah, of like yeah. the the way it paints the eyes. Yeah, it's it's. I think you look modern. You look classic. You look beautiful, and I, I could not be more more proud of your technique. It's it's your makeup. You taught me. Ah, uh, uh, well, I had a one-on-one really -on -one masterclass. Ah. Uh, well, it has been a pleasure. I have a great student, a beautiful student, a sweet student, and I'm really proud of you. I, I think it's the, the privilege is all mine. The fact that I that I got to learn from you and, and also I, I, I feel a little good because, you know, I think I've been doing it right. Uh, you have. And the one thing we didn't talk about is my my philosophy of beauty from the inside out. Yes. So, yes. do you have are you do you have any special health, you know, health concerns or are you someone that takes good care of yourself? You know, Bobby, for me, I've I've always um like I I don't understand how there's so much out there and I honestly get confused buying so many things because there, there's so much online you can get things with the click of a button and everyone's telling you right. you need this product you definitely need it you're going to look terrible without it so for me i think for me I, I like to keep it simple and and it starts with my skin and i i like to use just one cream and sometimes i, I use this really nice beauty balm and i i use that on my lips i use it on my nails i use it on my face uh, and I think it's just eating right and, and I, I was following uh, your page with, with Evolution 18. Tell us a little bit about that, how great skin comes from within. Well, I, I, uh, when I left the brand, I left Bobby Brown Cosmetics four years ago, I went back to school and got my degree as a health coach and I really learned how putting the right food in your body doesn't just make you look better, it really makes you feel better. And it really, it's about your health and, and, and just your skin, your vibrance. So it's fruits and vegetables. And you know, many of the things that you have in the, in, in the Indian culture, from turmeric to ginger, you know, all of that is new to us, but you guys, you know, have been part of it for years and years and years. So. I think the better you put ingredients in your body, the better you feel, and the bonus, the better your skin looks. And then yes, one cream is all you need. Yeah, I mean, for me, another, another ingredient that you must look into is actually saffron. Saffron, yes. Uh, like I use a saffron oil on my face sometimes and that really helps. And I even drink saffron water in the morning. And wow. I've noticed wow. that it's really helped, uh, you know, the little marks that everyone gets it. It's it's a normal part of, of life and and aging, you know, your skin ages through, through you know, different milestones in life. Mm -hmm. And I feel like what's been consistent with me is, is what I've eaten. And I'm enjoying that right now because I'm, I'm up north and when we're in this little town, which is just surrounded by farms and 
you know i i'm i think i'm living the life that i dreamt of with like farm to table and oh. you know organic produce and i feel that with my skin i feel like my skin is happy oh well you look you look completely healthy so whatever you're doing keep it up and now i'm going to have to go take some saffron which is very expensive over here and make some kind of tea or water so i will try it but bobby i need to ask you one question which i sure. been sure. dying to ask you which is tell me the one beauty trend and one skin care step that you'd love to do away with well beauty trend i would love to do away with is contouring yes i, I love do, you for that yes. i just don't understand why makeup artists don't just enhance a woman's beauty and not try to tell her something's wrong with it because i do think women should even get used to how they look without makeup so that's to get away and as far as you know i i think as far as like skin care things to that i would like to do away with i certainly don't like whitening cream i don't know why any you know anyone should change the color of their skin totally agree i i completely agree with you i i always find that people in the west always want to get tan but you know here it's completely different but i feel things are changing um the people's approach is changing they're being very vocal about what they like and what they don't like um even even makeup companies are giving you a whole range of of foundation i mean fenty is has got so many now you know it's it's I, about creativity Yeah, I do think the industry is changing. There's a lot of, you know, young beauty founders and I do love, you know, supporting local. And I also love the clean beauty moment. You know, that like there's a very big, you know, no chemical makeup thing happening and I think that's great, especially for someone that is fanatical as I am about what you put in your body. Yeah, I I think everybody is is looking at the packaging now. They're looking at what goes inside. uh how it's made whether it was fair trade whether the packing is is sustainable that's something right. i really look at when i buy something that you know it's not just about what i'm putting on my face but it's what i'm putting in the dustbin 100% is, is that 100%. going to you know just go and land up in a in a landfill or something and that's why i like to 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 use less but i think with what you've taught me i can i feel like it's just a small little pouch and you can do well with that and see what's available around you and and make yourself feel feel beautiful from inside well you are beautiful and i look forward to the day when i get to meet you in person i can't wait bobby thank you so much for doing this and thank you for being a part of the vogue beauty festival thanks for doing this with me and thanks for teaching me um this wonderful glowy look that you have Uh well thank you and and thank you to Vogue for asking me to do this. I feel very honored to be part of it. So thank you very much. Thanks Bobby. Hope to see you soon. Me too. Bye. Bye. Bye.